Hi there, it's Karen here from Turquoise Treasures. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be doing some, um, some organising, I suppose you'd say. Um, I've been, I think I've been saying for a, a couple of videos, I really could do with making myself an ephemera holder. I've seen Rachel at Roxy Creations making one um, with a variety of um, bags and envelopes. And I keep watching her video saying, I really would like to make myself one of those. So today's the day. Um, I have got so much stuff all over the place. I've got a box with Christmas words in it. I've got these two little folders with the fussy cuts from um, Eclectic Eggplant that I bought this year that I've told you, but I haven't I haven't cut everything out. I've still got all this that needs cutting out um, and a few other uh, folders full of stuff that needs cutting, but I've got nowhere to put it. So, um, so I've got those and then, I mean, by the time I've finished, I mean, these will be absolutely bulging. I'd never find anything. And then I have this box. This is all full of um, Dreams Etc. Easy Cuts, um, which is, I mean, it's quite, it works quite well, but I still quite like to organise it a bit more and be able to lay my hands on things more quickly. Um, so I have those and then I have this box, <laughs> which is just full of little paper bags with little tiny pieces in it, um, Christmas labels and stamps and goodness knows what else, flowers. Um, so I'd like to put all these things in one place that I can just pick it up, flick through and and pull out things that I want to use when I'm making the ephemera. Um, it's just a, a fun project that I thought I'd like to have a go at. Um, and as I got the package from uh, from Roxy Creations with those paper bags in it, I thought, well, it's a perfect opportunity to use them. Couldn't think of anything else to do with them, that's for sure. Um, so I'm going to give it a go and we'll see how it goes today. I probably won't do it all on camera, but I'll make a start today and see how we get on. So I'm just going to put these things out the way. And hopefully there will come a time when I'll be able to start putting them into my uh, new ephemera holder. But for the moment, oh, I'm just putting them on a on a stool because that's about all I've got room, the only place I've got room to put anything. So, um, I've got all these, these bits and pieces to start me off with. I have got a few more things I want to add. So, I've just had a go at um, putting it together the way Rachel did in that she made a little spine here and she got the original idea from Liz at the Paper Project. I will certainly uh, link Rachel's video, her first video, she's made several with this thing um, and um, I will link her one and she made the spine by sort of folding it here and, and, and then putting some eyelets in. Now, I don't know if the, how well that's going to work for me. Um, I may have got too many bits here because I've still got some more I want to add. So I've got, I've got this envelope and I've got this larger envelope. I've got the bag from the, from the kit that, from Rachel. I've got a couple of more envelopes here. But what I also want to do is to incorporate some scrapbooking paper. So this is going to be my, sorry, get those out of the way. This is going to be my middle one um, that I want to use for the accordion folder um, part of it because I thought it would be quite good to have that in the middle um, for some of my perhaps more irregularly shaped fussy cats, shall we say, that won't perhaps pop into a pocket quite as easily. So they would go into one of these accordion folder things. So I've got it already folded there, so going to the spine, and that is going to be in the middle. Now the scrapbooking paper I'm going to be using, I've just picked out a few from this pad that I bought this year. I went to the range, which is one of our big shops that does all sorts of things, but does have a craft section. And I went a bit mad in the Christmas section, so I bought two uh, 12 by 12 paper pads, which I didn't really need, but I couldn't help myself. Um, <clears throat> so this is one I've gone to use. I mean, they're under five pounds each. What can you do? You can't, it's like rude not to, isn't it? 24 sheets. And this is all um, turquoise and red. I mean, what a lovely color combination with, with some grays in there as well. And, and, and there's some foiling. So it's a really, really pretty pad lots of red and you know some lovely colours combinations so and there's there's a few uh, journal cards as well in here I think and some silver and grey isn't that pretty okay I keep going back and thinking oh I could use that could use that so um, it's a lovely pad and the other pad I've got has got more traditional Christmas 
designs in which I'm sure I won't get around to using this year. They are one-sided which I hadn't really thought about when I bought them and I, I do prefer things that are double-sided but actually in this project I don't think it's going to be an issue. So this is this is the one uh, one of the pieces I've chosen which has got little Christmas trees on um, and then I've got some more that I'm I don't know how many of them I'll get in because I, I think if I make it too thick I won't be able to get my um, punchy thing my big bite through the through the spine so I've got this one which has got little reindeer <coughs> in red leaping all over the place and I've got this one which is a more sort of generic design because I didn't really want anything too loud and busy because this is going to have pockets on it um, and so I don't need the background to be really really busy and then this one is another gorgeous one with little Christmas trees on so I like that as well so um, I'm going to make a start with this piece because I've got some little envelopes I should have three I did I've lost one where's it gone so it begins already I'm losing things Put this paper pad out of the way. All right. Um, where's my other? Is it definitely only two there? So where's the other one gone? Is it in the middle here? Where's the other one gone? Right. I need to go and get my third one. It definitely needs three. I want one for. I had I knew I wanted to put in them one for tiny pieces. Um, not sure what the other two were for. One for bigger pieces, maybe one for bigger pieces still. I'm not sure. I know I had in mind three different things, and I was going to put little tabs on them as well. So let me just go and find the other envelope or get another one out and prepare it because what I've done is I've glued in the um, the flap so that it could just pull open like that. Just I think I think Rachel did that as well in hers. So I'll be right back. I just could go and find the other one. Well, I don't know what happened to the other one, but I may I got another one out. I had some more, so um, I've just glued down another flap, and that will be that will be fine. So what I want to do, so I just fold that like that. I want to glue this into here. Um, not too. Not right at the top because I want. To, I think I want to put a little, um, little hole here so I can just tie the little, this little accordion bit together with some um, baker's twine or something. But I, I want it to be not too far away so that it's not. Um, yeah, so they're quite near the top but not right at the top is what I'm trying to say. So um, I think the thing to do is to glue. Put my glue on. And then, now does it, I can't remember if I've glued the whole thing down on one side, so that, and then just this bit glues down the middle, doesn't it? And then the other one glues to the other side. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out, I haven't done one of these before. Well, I did, I think we did something for one of the, re, one of Rachel's challenges a few months ago, but I can't quite remember how it worked. Um, but I'm, and I'm trying to remember how Rachel did it, but I think this is what she did. Well, it's what I'm going to do anyway. So I'm going to glue the whole of this to the background, to the um, scrapbook paper, that's what I'm trying to say. I can tell I'm going to have trouble with my words today. Let's get this started. It's been one of those things I keep thinking, I really want to make a start on that. Um, all right, so just... But it's, I've just got a bit of room at the top for a little hole here. I probably won't put an eyelet, I'm just going to put a little hole and a bit of baker's twine just so I can hold it together, stop everything falling out every time I pick it up. So that's going to go like that. And then I think we'll just put the glue here and there. Yeah, just glue down there from the from here so that it opens from from there. Is it going to work? Now I have a feeling I shouldn't have glued the whole thing down. I'm going to take that off before it dries. Whoa. I may have messed this up. I think it doesn't won't open properly if I glue it flat. I wasn't, I wasn't really thinking it through. Okay, so I may have messed that one up. 
I might have to leave that to dry before I redo it. It's a bit of a mess. And I might need another envelope now. I've torn this one. I don't want to... No, that's going to be a bit of a mess. Oh well. That's what happens when you're not really sure what you're doing. So I think what I'll do is I'll glue these two together. I'm going to have to go and get another one out, I think. So I'm just going to glue it down that middle bit. And then on there. Kind of straightish, and then I need another one, don't I? I hope I haven't run out. I've got this box of all sorts of different size envelopes. In case I've got any more, that particular size. Um, don't know if that's is that one of them. Oh yes, I think it is. That's good. Okay. Right. Try one more time. See if I can do this. It's gluing. I'm going to use the um, tacky glue for the flap. It gives me a little bit more time to tuck it in and it doesn't stick to itself so much as it would if it was glue stick. It's just a bit easier I find to use this for anything that you're tucking things in. Right. And then I'm going to put some glue on, glue stick down the middle. this doing it feels don't feel too bad I think it's dried a bit so now what I want to do do a better job this time hopefully and just put some glue down the middle that's what I should have done not covered it all over but you learn don't you you learn by your mistakes that's how we all learn even though I'm sure that when Rachel made her video, she said probably very clearly, just glue down the middle. Which I knew to do in the rest of it, but I just forgot that is what you needed to do to actually, fit. that's it, to make that open properly. Otherwise it just doesn't open enough. And then I've got to do the same here for the other, for the other part. I think, I think we're doing all right now. Oops, got a big lump, lump of glue there. And let's just see if that, let's close up the glue first. It's quite warm at my desk at the moment because I've got a radiator right in front of me and it just happens to be on at the moment because I'm, I'm filming around the middle of the day when we have an hour. So I've got heat bolting at me and so all my glue is going a bit soft. Right, there we are. Oop. I say there we are. That's not quite this one sticking to itself. I'm not opening what's happened here. Some glue must have seeped out when I did the flap. I think we're all right now. I think we're okay. Let's hope this works. We will see, won't we? Okay, and I think what I'd like to do, I'm going to round the corners on this. Where's my corner round? I've gone, there it is. So. Oh, my window cleaner's just appeared in front of me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's 
kind of weird. I've got an audience now. Is that going to work? Let's see if we can get that to... No, that didn't work, did it? I'd go in a bit... a better angle. That's better. And this one. Oh, it's... I can always manage to make the simple things look difficult, can't I? Okay, that's that one. Let's try this one. Let's go up. And this one. Right. Okay, so that's going to go in the middle. Like that. Okay. And I want to see, want to use a piece of this. Now this was high, about 8 inches. I don't want anything higher than this bag. So I might make the next one 7 inches. Just so it fits inside. Yeah, I'll, I'll go and do that. All right, I've got to go and just do something to open back gate. So right, I'll be right. just um, cut this off at seven inches. I think that would be about right. Let's have a look. I want this to be the highest thing. I don't want anything to go above it just because it'll, you know, catch it will start to go a bit raggedy. Yeah, that's about right. I think. Okay, now. It was a bit of a struggle to do this um, uh, make this spine it's quite, a, quite a strange way of doing it but I think it works really well if you can once you've done it I think it's quite a good idea I just um, you know, you've got to do the scoring in the right right place and make sure it all folds and this is quite thick even though it's only single sided it's still quite thick God, um, Cardstock, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's cardstock. Right, so just get my scoring board, and I think the little thing is falling out. Yep. Right, so I just need to score. Um, I'm scoring at I think it's five eighths, just over the half inch. Just that little bit wider than a half inch. So I just have to go down a couple of times. I'm not very good at scoring a straight line. It's quite. I think the um, the paper bag was the hardest one because it's so thick. It's quite hard to score that. I think it's come out all right. Just had to play around with it a bit. And then there's this one. Let's do it. Score this at about the same place, but it's got to fold around. So I'm hoping it'll be all right. Okay, and then just fold that as well. Ooh, it's really. Quite thick, so I may have difficulty getting the, getting a hole into this. I may have to do it in sections. Okay, but it's just such pretty paper. And I thought what I might do have I done have I done this straight? No, not entirely. Oh, maybe I haven't really cut straight. No, that seems to be all right. What I thought I might do with these is just do a little bit of decoration on the inside. Um, so I've got some, um, I've got a stencil here, and I just thought I'd quickly just stencil all over it. Oh, 
just to give it a little bit of, um, you know, a bit of background really. So what did I do with my, oh uh, yeah, okay, I think I've got, no, I've got the ink, got, got some inks here, I don't know if I've got the one I want. I've got a red, and I've, oh, I've got a green here, that might do it. came with the little mini stamp set that I bought. I don't know how good this ink is. But let's just give it a go. So I'm going to cover all this with pockets. But it'd be just nice to have a little something peeking out without it being too busy. So I'm just gonna brush over it with the green. Whoops, slipped a little. Not that I'm gonna worry about that too much because you're not gonna see a lot of it, but More around the size, I suppose. Let's see, how does that look? Well, it's it's not fabulous, but I might do something along the edges as well. Okay, that do. I'll do the same on the other side. Just so it doesn't look totally stark white. slipped a bit, I'm not sure it matters too much. All right, move it down. Let's just get a little, a little bit of holly. It's not holding very well. well. I'm not holding it very well because I'm not very good at it. Sometimes these little designs are quite hard to do. Oops, just went up, hold it close. Never mind, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Okay, and then I might just, if I can find a dobber that will work. Might just go around the sides. Let's put a clean dobber on, or clean sponge. Probably round the corners of this as well. I just want to get these pages made. All right, so that's oops, goes that way. one. Uh, I'm going to do I'm going to do my reindeer one. How big shall I make that one? I might make it let's see how it's gonna to go together. This is gonna to go in the middle. Um, just trying to 
figure out where I want things. I think I might want this one next. So maybe I'll do another seven inch one. I'll well give myself as much area to, to put pockets on as possible, mightn't I? Cover that up before we have any disasters. Sorry, I had to blow my nose there. Don't want me sniffing on camera, do we? New, no, new, no, new. No. Doesn't sound good. Right, so again, just this is the half there, and it's just one pass, so that's five eighths. I'll just do my. my line there. I do find this thing quite tricky, it just sort of twists as I'm going down. Okay. the other way I think just to make sure it's got enough bend on this one. I might just do them randomly, I'm not going to complete, do complete coverage I don't think. Right. Um, got the red. I've got another little spongy doodah. So let's try that. This one is one that is a distressing. This one is candied apple. So I'll just pop a few poinsettias over this one. Oops. Oh, that's that's plenty ready enough. I'm going to have a disaster if I'm not careful. A very juicy pad. Cool, look at that. Wow. The 
That is certainly red. Look at that. Ooh. Let's put a few more bits on. And just a last few at the bottom. It's probably going to mostly be covered up by the pocket, so I just don't know how big the pockets are going to be, so I just thought I'd put it all over. Okay. And then I'll go around the edges with some red as well and probably get more on me than on here. Okay, a bit more. Do that there. Don't really need to do a lot of pressing or rubbing, it comes off. My goodness, this is juicy. Last little bit. Oh, two. Well, <laughs> I might just wipe this off the uh, stencil before I get it everywhere. a little bit as well I think right not sure I dare put it around the edges maybe I'll use the little sponge to do that as well Doesn't even need any topping up, it just seems to last for ages. One little dab and it's good to go for a long time. Right. Whoa, that was that was very, very juicy. Let's get rid of that. Yuck. Right, make sure this is run the right way. Yep. Now I really need to wipe my hands again, I think. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the other piece of scrapbook paper. I just I think I've got enough to go in the spine at least. What I might do is I've got some little envelopes and I could add them as extra flaps to make more pockets if I need them, can't I? So that's what I might do. Right. I think we'll let that dry for a moment. Oh, sorry about the sniffy nose. I've got a bit of a runny nose today. I haven't got a cold. I just tend to get a runny nose periodically for no, for no good reason. Maybe I've got allergies. I don't know. But it's all good. It just comes and goes. Right, so that was that one. I think the red one's going to go next. And then... 
I might put the larger brown one. So I'm just going to see if that can go in here. Oh, I've got to do I want to just do the corners, don't I? Let's just do those. I do like my corners to be round. Nope, not that side. This side. Here, that wasn't right. Still not right. I don't know. Sometimes it goes perfectly, and sometimes it just makes a nasty mark. Right, let's just it sort of does a notch rather than a rounded corner for some reason. There we are. Okay, so that can go in here. Goes in next, I think, there. And this one can go here, then the bag. Um, and this one, going to round the corners on this one. Okay, that's fine. Now, does that go? I think I might do that one down here, and that one there, and this one further up. So I don't need to put the hole in. I have a hole here and a hole here, and then it's only got to go through. Minimum number of thicknesses. Is that going to work? Well, I guess I won't know till I try. Will it go in or not? So I need to just want that to go down a little. One more thing before I before I do this, because it'd be harder to do afterwards. I need to make the holes for this, and I want the smaller hole. At least this one I know will work. And roughly in the middle. Is it in the middle. Okay, so that's that's the hole that I can use to just to close my little accordion booklet. That's it. And it may be I have to do these holes separately if the big bite won't go through. I'll have to see. It may not be the big bite, maybe just me. I might not have the strength to push it through. Let's give it a go. I'm not sure if it'll even all go under there. Oh. Yes, it has. Let's make sure it's. Yeah, okay. I think I'll have to stand up for this. Oh! Ooh, it did it!
Oh, result. Now I've just got to do the other one down here so it captures the little, the other little envelope. So I can whip that one out for a moment. Um, let's make sure I've got it in the right place. I want it more or less lined up. Let's see if I've got, yeah, I've got that caught in the middle. It's about lined up with the other one. Let's push. Uh, eh, done it. Whoa. Didn't know if it would work, but it did. As a result, eh? Now, can I put pilots on this? Yeah, I know I'm pushing my luck. Um, I have got them here. using some slightly larger ones. These lot. These ones with the wider. They're like a brushed gold, they're quite nice. Are oh, you gonna go through the through all the way? That's the question. If it goes through, it should catch. Will it go through the hole? Just got to make sure they're all lined up now. And I'm not sure they are. I might do, instead of spending too much time fiddling around with this, I'm, I'm going to try and do the first one off camera and then finish it on camera. Do the second one. Right, so I wasn't at all sure if this would work, but it did just about go through. Can you see it back there? Has gone through, has caught it, so I'm gonna do the other one now. I've got that lined up correctly. I think I'm gonna to have to stand up again. Whoop. Just went to have a chat with our, our window cleaner who'd arrived while I was filming because he's been our window cleaner for about oh, 25 years at least. Because he was our window cleaner before we moved here and we've been here 22 years and he kind of carried on coming to us. Which has been great so we've we exchanged grand, grandchildren news and things like that whenever we see him now. Caught. That's rather good. Wasn't sure at all that that would work. So I just need to do um, get a bit of baker's twine. Which colour should I go for? I think I might do red. That just gives it a finish, finishing look. And we'll see what we've got. I definitely didn't didn't have room for another piece of scrapbook um, paper in here, but I'm going to trim that because it's it's not going through because it's curling up. And just at the end. Um, okay, go through there. I'm going to have to decorate s some of these. Um, envelopes. This yellow one is not very Christmassy colour, is it? So I need to find a way to decorate that, I think. I had to put a bit of um, washi tape on here because when I was doing the scoring it, it went through a little bit. So I needed to reinforce it. I Just wondering if it needs to go through twice. Let's have a look. 
I don't really think it does. Do a little bit for my accordion pocket as well, haven't I? Right, so that's that. It's just a bit of decorative um, finish. I don't think it really. It's not really holding anything. I know I haven't got my eyelets particularly central. But I'm not going to worry about that as long as everything is caught on, caught in, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it being symmetrical. It's just for me. I'm just happy that it went through the whole, you know, that it actually went through all the layers. These things are always fiddly. There we are. Okay, and then I will just let's have a look, see how this how this works now. So that goes open like that, that opens like that. So I've got to snip a lot of these pockets, and this um, bag opens here. So I've got room to put that in. Let's try holding it over the other way. I think. We want that brown showing. And what I'm going to use for the bag, I think Rachel in the end used some paper clips. And I have remembered I've had these for years. They came in a in one of my scrapbooking kits years ago, Christmas kit. They're little Christmas paper clips. So cute. I've, there's so many times I looked at them and said, I don't know what to do with them, but I've hung on to them. Finally, they found I found a use for them. They're going to hold this closed. And they're the right colour scheme. Look, they've got the, the turquoise colour of the um, paper clip itself. So that will go there. And I've got that envelope there. I've got the scrapbook paper. Another envelope. And then I've got my accordion. Um, whatever you call it. Ephemera thingy holder, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to put my book weight down there while I find some... Not done with it. I need some more Baker's Twine just to hold that closed as well. So it's quite a small hole so I'll probably have trouble getting, getting it through in my usual way. Of course, it starts to untwist and separate. Oh, good. Got it. I'm going to trim that off. There's no point in making life more difficult for myself. And put that through there. There we are. Probably made this too long, but I'm not worried. I shall just trim it. I'd rather give myself enough to play with. And then I can hold it closed like that. Just stop all the little pieces falling out, won't it? Right, let's just snip some pockets. Scissors would be good. Uh, not these ones, these are my fabric ones, so they have to keep out of sight, otherwise I'll, I'll regret it. And what have I done with my scissors now? I used them for something. Probably did. Maybe I used to come downstairs. I don't think they're around. Can't see them. Never mind. I'll use these. These, sh these should work okay, I think. Just going to snip. I'm going to make them all. Apart from the uh, the bag, 
I'm going to make more top pockets just so that there's no danger of things falling out. Right, let's resume. My, uh, my battery died as it does. So I had to go and change that. And while I was changing my battery, my, my daughter called and I had to talk, chat with her and her very exuberant daughter, my little granddaughter, who's full of beans, driving her mum up the wall, who's still feeling a little bit rough from the COVID. But um, but she, you know, they're on the, she's on the mend. And the little one's definitely on the mend, but she's still got to isolate. So she's uh, at home causing havoc. Right. And then I had to have lunch because I realised that the day was, he was gone, quarter past, it was well gone too. And um, I hadn't had anything to eat. So it is now about two hours later than when I was last doing this. So I think what I was doing was cutting into the pockets. So I'm just going to carry on doing that. Whoop. I still haven't located my other pair of scissors. I should have looked for those while I was off off camera, shouldn't I? Sorry about my arm up in the air. It's just getting the angle to get this pocket open. And I should probably put something across here as well. And I'll do some decorating, mostly off camera, I think. Otherwise, if I do it all on camera, it'll be well into the new year before I get to use this, won't it? Right, and this one, have I done this one? Oh, I've done that one. I've done that one and I've got the paper clip on this one so what have I done no I haven't done that one right so I need to do this one right and this one here, so I've just got to decide. I think this one might be better if I cut it along here. I think, yeah, I think so. I hope so. Okay, and opens like that, and then I'll go the other side. This one. So I've glued the uh, all the flaps down on the pockets before I put it into the into the holder, camera holder. So all I've got to do now is just snip them where they need to be actually opened. But I shouldn't have too much decorating to do because I've got the. Uh, of the scrapbook paper doesn't need anything extra. Now this one, that's right, I was going to use this one to attach it to one of the little pocket, one of the little bags that came in the kit, if I can find them. Okay. So I've got I've got either this one or this one, I think. Which one shall I use? Um, is this one a little tall? I could have done this in the... I could have put this in like that, couldn't I? I wonder. I could put it like that and then if I've got any really tall things, that would work quite well, wouldn't it? Yeah. I think that's what I'll do. Glue that on there. Um, I'm just wondering if I need to... Maybe if I glue it there. And then I can use that as a tuck. Yes, that's what I'll do. Um, I'm going to use that. Use the... Not that. Use the, the old one. It's still flowing reasonably well so I'm going to use up the old one and just put a line of glue along here like that yep just 
fit it within the other the other bag so it's not sticking out over the top. I need something dry just to rub along there. Yes, it is. I might actually do a bit of glue along the top and bottom as well. Okay, make it a little bit more secure. It just gives me that little tuck spot on the back. I like that. Not that one. Rub that. Okay. And then get on quite thick. I don't know how this is all going to work out. It may be far too big. But then I'll be able to spread things out, I suppose. <clears throat> far through the eyelet has gone. I'm not sure it's caught it at the back but something's catching it in. Maybe it's just the string. And then this little one here and I think I'm going to do that at the top as well. Right, so that's all of them. Oh I've got to do this of course haven't I? here. Okay, and then I've got my other little paper clip, I've got my little little snowman, and that can paper clip here, like that. So I think that's probably as far as I can take it today. Um, yeah, I don't think the eyelet has gone all the way through, but it's kind of holding it together because of the baker's twine, which I might have to feed through twice just to make sure it's firmly um, holding together. <clears throat> but um, yeah, so I've got that and that, and then there's going to be a bit of decorating on some of these plainer ones and a whole, a whole bunch of pockets. I don't know how many pockets I'll put on the bag because I'll probably put things in the bag so the pockets will be a bit bulging out of it won't they so we'll see about that but I'll certainly be putting pockets on everything else on here there'll be probably a pocket here as well as up here and I've got my little accordion here cut that one yep more pockets so there's going to be loads and loads of pockets so it should be great really handy to have all these things that one, that one and that one. Okay, so in the next video I'll start putting the pockets on. I might do a bit of decorating in the meantime just to move things along a bit. Right, so that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. I hope this uh, wasn't a bit too disjointed because I kept, for some reason I had to keep turning off the camera for a variety of reasons. Now I've got to, I'll get rid of all these bits after. Alright, so there it is, there's my ephemera holder. Let's see how it looks when I've had a bit of a play with it. Okay, bye for now.